Hello, I'm Professor Bruce DiNardo. I'm here in the Physics Department at the Naval Postgraduate School. We're in the Lecture Demonstrations Laboratory, and I'd like to show you a demonstration that we do in our Nonlinear Oscillations and Waves course. Pure frequency traveling waves in systems move with some speed, and that's called the phase velocity. However, this speed can depend upon amplitude. And what you see here is a demonstration that involves the speed of gravity waves. By gravity waves, we mean waves on the surface of a liquid where gravity supplies the restoring force. Here's a channel of liquid with a wave maker at one end. The liquid is ethyl alcohol with uh, the difluorescein, which has been added to it. The wave maker is a wedge that's attached to a simple loudspeaker. And the loudspeaker is going at being driven at 6 hertz. We use a function generator and an amplifier to drive the wave maker. Right now, low amplitude waves are being generated. A homemade wave height probe is being used here. And it consists of just these two bare wires that you see there. And we're picking up on the AC electrical resistance between the two wires. When the level of the water goes up, the resistance goes down. So we utilize that to transduce the wave height. And you can see the signal of the wave height. It's the upper yellow trace on the oscilloscope. The bottom trace is the signal from the function generator to the amplifier. That's our drive. The scope is triggering off that drive. And I've positioned the probe such that the yellow trace rise is in phase, is right on top of the blue trace. Also, the channel is long enough so that once the reflected waves come back to the probe, their amplitude is, is far enough down that they're negligible. These are essentially traveling waves. OK, now we're ready for the demonstration. Note that the waves are sinusoidal on the oscilloscope. I'm now turning up the amplifier and the amplitudes of the wave, the amplitude of the wave is increasing a little bit. Note that the wave and the drive remain in phase, approximately in phase. It's only when we drive much harder that we finally start to see that something's happening here, besides the amplitude increasing. What's happening is the crest is arriving at an earlier time. So time is along the x-axis of the scope there. The, the yellow trace has moved over. It's occurring, the crest is occurring at an earlier time. And the only way this can happen is if the wave is moving faster. You can also see a little bit of distortion of the wave. It's not a pure sinusoid anymore. This is due to two effects. The nonlinearity of the waves on the surface of the liquid and also non-sinusoidal motion of the driver. This is not a perfect driver. But the distortion of the driver cannot cause the waves to change their speed. The change in the wave speed is coming from the nonlinear nature of the waves on the liquid. 